Right, so we've got a new map. So this is Brotham by Torben, 187.03 megabyte on the download. And it says, welcome to Brotham. This is a fictional map located somewhere on the north coast of Germany. Oh, excellent. Now, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 980 slots. If you come on here on New Farmer, that goes up to 1,087. Now, there is a few buildings on here that are on all three game modes. So the only thing that's different is going to be the equipment. Now, there is a couple of required mods that it did give me the automatic prompt to download. And they are the old cow shed, Dutch shed pack and old farm package by DMI 20mm Normandy. So, you know, it's pretty easy to get those. That's not a problem. So what equipment do we start with then? If we go into this menu and under small tractors, we've got the Steyr 8150. Under medium tractors, we've got the John Deere 7810. Under harvesters, we've got the Deutz Far Top Line of 4090H. Under trailers, we've got the Rudolph DK280RL and the Welger TK115. Under headers, we've got the Deutz Far Top Line of 4090 header. Under cultivators, <sighs> Horsch Tirano 3FX 3 meter. Dear, oh dear. Under seeders, we've got the Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030 3 meter seeder. Mm. <laughs> All right, carry on. Under mowers, we've got the Kuhn GMD 4411. Under tethers, we've got the Pottinger Alpine Hip 4.4H. Under wind rowers, we've got the Pottinger Top 342. Under bailers, we've got the Massey Ferguson MF 1840. Under header trailers, we've got the Top Line of 4090 trailer. And then under weights, we've got the John Deere Pickup 900 and then the 10 Winkle Pack 750. Now, that's a fairly decent set of equipment. Albeit a little small, mind you, but all right, carry on. So what about the map? There's your PDA. Now, we start off all three game modes here, but the actual main start farm is over here, but all right. we'll get back to that shortly. Now, there is a strange thing on this map. I don't know if it's map or if it's just my Xbox, but if you've got all the field numbers, if you then go into biome, then you change. Which is rather random. I mean, obviously, farm managers start from scratch. You don't own any land. New farmer you start off with. It's going to be farm area 53 and 69. Nice. But then if you click off that, it changes to field 44 and that bit. So I don't know what's going on with that. But, all right. Fair enough. So we'll start off the map tour down here. So we're by this cell point. San Giovanni. Fair enough. Got your sail point just in there for you. Now we'll spin around. We're going to go down the road a little. Oh, deers are in the road. God, dear, oh dear. Because we've got a production chain down here. And this is going to be, I'd imagine by the looks of the building, a bakery. Because that's what normally in this style of building. But we'll have a look when we get around there. So you've got your pallet spawn point there. Loading in point there. And then we'll click on there. Oh, for Neil Deschamps Bakery. 50 grand. Yeah, my French is not great, I must admit. <laughs> ah, dear, oh dear. Right, so we'll come back round here. So obviously we'll come up here. We've got another sell point. So this is going to be your supermarket. So you've got your selling point just there for you. We'll spin around again. And over here we've got a carpentry. So you've got your pallet spawn point just there. Sell your wood icon. Loading in point, And then your production chain menu down here. There you are. 60 grand to buy. Fair enough. I mean, can we hop the fence? Oh, it's, it's open anyway. <laughs> ah, dear, oh dear. Right, now we'll come around here and we got our tailor shop. So you've got your production chain menu there. 60 grand. Loading in point there. But, uh, yeah, the, the hatch marking area for your pallet spawn point is floating. But <laughs> Right, fair enough. Right, we're going to carry on down this bit because we've got another area down here. Which is massive, I must admit. This is huge. So we'll come down here, around this corner here. I mean, just look at the size of it. Ah, excellent. Right, so this is going to be a sale point for you. So this one is going to be called Grain Storage. So load all your stuff into there. Jobs are good. And we'll come back out, back up to the, I'm going to say the main shopping area. It'd be like your shopping centre. Or mall, wherever you come from. So we'll come back on the road. Yeah, we'll have a little jog down in the August sunshine. Why not? Yeah, a bit of exercise, good for you. So past the 
I've got a tailor shop, but it's a spinnery, isn't it? I said that was a tailor shop. That's actually a spinnery. All right, carry on, dear, oh dear. All right, so we'll come down here. Obviously, you start seeing some of these buildings. Obviously, that's part of the required mods that I've gone in. Fair enough. And we'll come down here. You can see from the outside, this is going to be a cereal factory. So we'll hook a left into here. So you've got your loading in point just there. Pallet spawn point up front. And then production chain menu just there. 110 grand to buy. The next door to that is going to be your grain mill. So pallet spawn point out the front. And then you've got your loading in point there. And then you've got your production chain menu just there for you. 96 grand. And what we'll do is spin around here. Can we jump this fence? Take on. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, that's one of them down. Let's give it another go. There you are. Ah, excellent. Right, so we'll come around here. And there's a couple of icons here, but I've lost it. Ah, there we are. <laughs> We're just here. So this one will zoom in a little. That's better. Right, click on that. There you are. Country trading point. So obviously you load your stuff into the grid over there. Now, you've got all these greenhouses here. But you can't actually buy the land. So if we click on that, it, it doesn't allow me to buy it. So those greenhouses are just for decoration. You're not going to be able to use those. It's been around here because there is an icon there. It says an electric charging point, but I can't find it. <laughs> Which is a bit random. You've got the icon on the map, but there's nothing there. But I have found something down here. Which is a, it's a collectible. But... It's a piece of cheese. <laughs> there we are. Right there. We'll collect that. Yes, thank you. For 20 grand. Oh, that's all right. 20 grand for a bit of cheese. <laughs> Excellent. Right. We're going to move on because we're going to come over to this area up here. So this is going to be another sale point. So this is called Livestock Market Oak Belleron. So load your stuff into there and we'll come down this building down the side because you've got your animal dealer at the other end so there she blows just come around this wall there like that around again and there we are there's your animal trigger dialog box whatever you want to call it now we have got a couple of things on the go so we'll come back around to those later now we're going to carry on down to this area here now first off you might think oh that's just a petrol station but we click on that and we'll buy it Yes, 364 grand. Yeah, we got something else. It's a BGA. Oh, <laughs> excellent. So you got your methane point just there. And obviously the BGA is over there. You've got two big bunker silos. We'll come over. You've got your taken out point for your digestate there. We'll come over here. You've got your loading in point for your slurry. You've got your production chain menu there. Usual stuff going in. Not a problem. And then obviously you load in your solid stuff up there. You've got a big shed over here as well. Oh, that's all right. I mean, 360 odd grand. And how big was that production chain? 250 kilowatt? Yeah, I suppose that's all right. Fair enough. Right. We're going to move on again. So we're going to come back up to the map like that. We're going to come down to what I'm basically going to call your main production chain area. So first up is going to be your debris crusher. Obviously, you load your stuff at the front, at the top. Jobs are good. Then we'll come down this side. Around here, you've got a buy point for your lime just there. And we'll carry on down. And I hope I haven't gone the wrong side of that fence. I don't think I have. We should be all right. And we'll come down to a few production chains down here. So the first one, just coming up on the right here. There we are, is your sugar mill. So you've got your loading your stuff in at the back. Then we'll come down this side. You've got your... Well, you should have your pallet spawn point just there. There's no hatch marking areas, mind you. You've got your production chain junk, production chain junction, production chain menu. Eighty grand just there for you. I'm gonna put my teeth in. I think I need to get a new set. You then got an oil mill, so you got your load your stuff in at the front. Pallet spawn point just there, and then your production chain menu. Let's say it correctly. There you are. Eighty grand. So we'll spin back around. We'll come out of there. And we'll come back down the road here. We've got another one. Well, we've got a sow point here. This is going to be your biomass heating plant. So sow your stuff in the front there. And the trigger is actually for your sow wood. It's in the skips. Oh, fair enough. Why not? Right, so then we'll come next door. And you've got your grape factory. 
around there like that so you load your stuff into there and then you've got your production chain menu there 80 grand pallet spawn point just there and then you come around here and i'm going to try and hop the fence because why not oh you've got a sawmill <laughs> excellent so you've got your pallet spawn point just there you've got your salwood icon and then your loading area just there and we'll come up here put your production menu just there 100 grand to buy then you've got your taking your wood chips out there fair enough right we'll move on again we're going to come up to this area over here so you've got two sour points over here so the first one is going to be your pizzeria so we'll come down and around the back that's your loading in point there and then we'll spin around because we've got fast food restaurant just over here got a few tables picnic benches out the front down here and there's your sour point just there for you now if we hop over this bush there's a bit of a bit of a pier on the go down there, which is nice. I mean, you can get down here. There's massive green area. I mean, you've got some wind turbines up there, but it's <laughs> down here. Why not? I mean, little seating area, little kiddies play area. We'll come all the way down to the water's edge. I mean, this land, massive. We've got all the way down here. No problem. I mean... We'll click on that. You can't buy it, mind you, but I'd imagine... I don't know, you might be able to get a mower on the go. Possibly. I'll have to see. We'll see what happens. Right. We're going to move on. We're going to come over to this one up here. So this is going to be your bakery. So you've got your production chain menu at the front there like that. 50 grand. Then we'll come around the back. You've got your loading in point there. And then your pallet spawn point just there. All fairly simple. So we'll move on again. We're going to come up to this area up here. This is going to be a sheep farm, but I'm going to want to click on that and buy area 63. I'm just going to see if a sleep trigger comes up. No, it doesn't. All right, fair enough. So you've got your sheep pen over here. So load your food in. You've got your wool pallet spawn point just there. You've got water in because obviously it's a pasture. And then your animal dialogue box just there. So that's going to hold 15 sheep. Then we'll come around. And then because you've got to put water in, there's a water tank just there for you. Fair enough. I mean, that pen was already ready for us to put animals in. So you don't need to own it because there's no sleep trigger that comes up with it anyway. All right. Fair enough. Right. We're going to move on again. We're going to come over to this one here. Now, I know we missed out the main start farm. We're going to come back to that last. So we're going to come over to here next. So this is going to be another sale point. So this is going to be your farmer's market. Obviously, sell your stuff straight into there. But whilst we're down here, you've got this nice little village in the middle. I mean, if you want to come in on Start From Scratch or Farm Manager, you could easily place a sleep trigger down, duffel bag. No problem. There's plenty of houses to get past. <laughs> yeah, it's like lost in suburbia. Ah, fair enough. Right, we'll carry on. Right, we're going to move up to this area up here. So as you can probably tell, this is going to be your main shop which is ace this building's great anyway now the actual shop menu is down the side there if you want to go into it from that side now we can come into this building go through those doors like that we can open up those doors as well now behind this door behind door number three matthew <laughs> is your workshop trigger so just pull your vehicle in and then obviously fix your vehicle obviously you've got that door that opens when you get far enough in you get to turn the shed lights on Got that door that opens as well. But also, whilst we're down here, it's a jet wash. <laughs> Excellent. So come down here and then jet wash off your vehicles. Now, I don't own this land. I don't even think you can buy it, though, can you? No, you can't buy it. But you can still use this as storage, which is great. Oh, I like that. And then we're going to come over the road. It's going to be a fuel station. So let's go see how much they're going to charge us for the diesel. £3.3? Three? No. <laughs> no. Right, let's go quick before we get robbed by the petrol station. Right, we're going to move on. We're going to come up to this one up here. Right, so this is going to be another production chain for you. Now, this is actually the tailor shop. Not like the one I said down the bottom, but all right, we'll carry on. So you've got your production chain menu just there, 100 grand to buy. You then got your loading in point. You then got your wardrobe icon. And then down this side is your pallet spawn point. Fair enough. We'll move on to the next production chain, which is up here. So this is going to be your dairy. So you've got your loading in point just there. We'll come down this side. There's your pallet spawn point. And then round the corner, just there, is going to be your production chain menu. There we are. 70 grand to buy. Jobs are good. 
do some dairyage. There you are, that's a new word for you. Right, so we're now going to come all the way back down to the main start farm. Right, so what have we got down here? Well, first off, you've got this shed. Fair enough. Got a couple of meadows out the back you can mow because you have got a cow barn down here as well, which is all right. Then we'll come over here. You've got your silo, load in, load out at the front there. And here's your cow barn. So we'll click on that. There you are, it's going to hold 35 cows. Open up those doors if you want. Open up those doors. Obviously, feed and straw go into there. Now, that should be your milk taking out point just there. And we'll come down the other end, past all our trailers, just like that. There's your taking out for your slurry. Was that milk, actually? No, it's got to be slurry, that end. Milk to the other end. Fair enough. And we'll come over here, and you've got a workshop in this garage, which is nice. So, we'll just bring your vehicle or equipment in there. Hit the spanner icon, jobs are good in. You've also got a jet wash down here as well. Clean it all off after a day in the field. We'll come down here, so we've got a bit more storage under there. And then we'll hook a left into here, because this is going to be your sleep trigger. This is your main house. I have a little kip in there. And we'll come back out, because we've got another little shed over here. We'll go into there like that. And there's John Deere. <laughs> and the Steyr, having a little sleep in the shed. And that is basically that. I mean, this map is all right, to be fair. Yeah, there's a couple of things, maybe a couple of hatch marking areas aren't quite right. But that being said, I do like it. I mean, it's nicely detailed. You've got decent areas. You've got nice, unobtrusive fields, shall we say. You know, there's not a load of fences keeping you penned in. You've got a nice village area if you wanted to come and start from scratch sort of thing. Oh, I like it. I mean, there is a couple of areas of forestry if you want to get on with that. I'm not one coming over here now. Oh, I like this map. It's got a bit of everything for everybody. Yeah, very nice. Right, drop it in the comments below what you're going to be doing on this map. You're going to do a bit of forestry, some animals, just smash some fields out. We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.